a glittering occasion. It is the final, but only one side can emerge victorious. Who's it going to be? Live coverage right here on EA TV. And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson, and a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, the first piece of silverware of the season. Both teams desperate to claim it. With the quality on display, I think we should have a really good game here. And here's the Roma starting 11. Evan Ndika plays alongside Gianluca Mancini in central defence. Lorenzo Pellegrini plays alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Bremer plays alongside Federico Gatti in central defence. And the striker today is Dusan Vlaovic. Stop them in their tracks. And teammates around him. That's here. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Playing it in, winning it well. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Ibala, that was untidy. struggle for both sides to keep the ball right now dangerous looking attack and Angelino now with Dybala is it going to be? well the keeper reacted magnificently the fans want to see a shot you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Gildes. Well, they've given him too much space. Terrific block. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Can he play it in? Pellegrini. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. in the wall Andrea Cambiasso and he has options available oh that's a super piece of defending Dybala it's with Chelly and back for Dybala Pulls it back. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. And the ball back with Juve now. And threading it through. the keeper oh how about that for a chip savor it pure brilliance well this is a very good finish he just does enough to get it over the keeper he'll certainly be pleased with that That reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. Textbook interception. A creative look about this. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. inside the box well the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board chance here oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but and the referee has given the corner so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead
And over it comes. Well, he'd love to have that delivery back. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Douglas Luiz. And over comes the corner. And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Angelino. Trying to open them up. Pellegrini. Could be. Not out of the woods yet. And second time around he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So, the ball rolling again at 2-0. Came friend to Ram. It's with Douglas Luiz. Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? And into the last 30 minutes now. Roma recovering possession well. Angelino <laughs> What can they do to stop him running at them? But they took care of the situation defensively That'll be Roma's ball it's a substitution for Juventus. Well, it's evident to me that Roma are looking to do things differently here. It seems as though they're trying to dominate possession without really getting the ball forward. But if they don't do it well and make the odd mistake, they could find themselves in big trouble. And the penalty has been given here. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. An opportunity for 3-0. Taking aim from the spot and finding the target.
here's the replay and the goalkeeper chooses the right way but he's a bit unlucky because the strike goes above his body it's a good penalty it's the height that beats him on this occasion Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. to give it a go but straight at the keeper oh a goal it's gone in the goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again So back underway at 3 1. Douglas Luiz. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Ten minutes to go. Artem Dogbeek. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. A foul but no whistle. Instead, advantage Juventus. Douglas Luiz. Locatelli. Kefren Turam. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Putting pay to the danger. An effective challenge. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Artem Dogbeek. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Superb block. And full time. The issue is settled. It's one to put on their honours list. Well, Derek, they'll be pleased with this. They deserved their win today. They were certainly the better team. It was a good performance. First piece of silverware. And that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today well they came here to win it and that's exactly what they've done and it's another trophy now for the trophy lift
and I've spoken to a number of hardened pros down the years about this, Stuart. They've all said, don't take this for granted. Savour these moments. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. This is a lovely moment for everybody at the club, fans included. They've certainly played their part, as you mentioned. But on this occasion, it's well and truly party time. A really good victory for them here, and they're going to enjoy this. He wanted to give it a go. opportunity for three